Greetings and salutations, Internet Dozens. It is Iowa Fortech, and here we go with another delightful video. This time with the Pathfinder First Edition character, player character. I forgot the word player. Player character folio. This is a handy dandy little folio. This is not simply just character sheets, but a handy dandy folder that opens up like show, snow. And this outer flap flaps over, and you have this series of pages right here. But before we get too far into that, first and foremost, we have a delightful scene with four major iconic characters from Pathfinder 1st Edition and 2nd Edition. On the back side, there's a little bit of a what you expect of the character folio. The 3.5 OGL mark. <coughs> and that's it. It's MSRPs for $9.99. It costs a lot more than that now. But anyways, it's very important to get over this detail. This is right here. This section right here is the open game license. This is basically the rules that stipulates that by Wizard of the Coast, allowing Paizo and other people to manufacture games based off of the 3.5 D20 rules. Now down here, there's this handy dandy pocket for putting papers or cards or anything like that. There's this handy dandy cheat sheet right here. <coughs> For character advancement and level dependent bonuses, there's the levels from 1 to 20. There is a slow progression, a medium progression, and a fast progression, as well as the rate in which you gain feats and your ability score or boosts occur. Uh, down here in this section right here is a little reminder section of the basic the basic mechanics of actions in combat. There are standard actions move actions, full round actions, and swift actions down here, along with a little key right here that stipulates I need to adjust that light. And so it's going to adjust in a moment, so it's not so bad. But anyways, that is a handy dandy little section on basic a on your range of actions during combat, as well as a little key down here for little adjustment rules for all that stuff. When you open up this sheet, boop, you have the basic stats right here, <coughs> all expanded out. You got your character information up here. What? What your character name, your player name, your alignment, deity, race, etc. Your initiative calculations right here. Your speeds for land, fly, swim, climb, and other. Just in case your character can tell, move around by farting. Uh, ability scores as well as the basic six sections for your standard score, your modifier, and bonuses as well as a mod damage penalty mod section. A little senses box right here. So you can say you can by sight, by smell, by touch, by vibrations, by dark vision, so forth. Your perception score box down here. Your whole your hero point box right here to keep track of your hero points. Your saving throw section, fortitude, reflex and will. Then you have your HP section right here, as well as damage, non-lethal, and temporary box. Then onto this side right here is a quick little summary of skill checks for like long jumps, jumping through uh, threatened areas, etc. Movement, high jumps, bluff checks, climbing, diplomacy. Disable device, heal, perception, knowledge, spellcraft, 
ride, survival, swim, move on this back sheet. So I'm going to have to flip that over to get to this next section. Right here is combat. Yet again, you got your attack roll modifier section. It denotes that there's a page. It states that it's always going to be out of the character, uh, the core rule book here. You got your attack roll modifier, your rules here, your armor class modifiers, your combat maneuver for list here, your two weapon fighting penalties, your concentration checks right here, and down here is another pocket with more conditions, common conditions, which is duplicate. Continues on over on this side here, common conditions as well. Right here, I'm going to flip that back over this way. Uh, right here is the <clears throat> sort of the title page index for uh, this uh, pan, uh, character folio. Uh, it denotes the table of contents, defense, offense, skills, feats, traits, languages, spells, equipment, companions, backgrounds, adventures, and skill checks along with some credits to the people who have worked on this as well as Pathfinder. On this page, this is the defenses page. It all totals out your defensive items, all the modifiers and types to, tied to it. Your armor class, your touch AC, your flat-footed AC, and your CMD. Your saving throws and the calculations for your saving throws as well as the categories of modifiers for your saving throws. Down here is your defensive abilities and class features. Here's box, poof, right here. Up here is your attack bonus. So you can have your base attack bonus calculation right here. Boop. That would be known as your BAB, B-A-B, melee, ranged, and CMB combat maneuver bonus calculation and end result. Your different attacks, you write down your weapon, options used, attack bonuses, damages, and etc, etc, etc. You know, like slashing, fire, paralyzing, disgusting. I'm joking with disgusting, but you know there actually is a condition called nauseated. So, hey! <clears throat> Offensive abilities and class features box down here. So if you have an ability tied to your class or an offensive ability, like your character is absolutely filthy and your enemies just don't want to stay away from him, you can write that down here. Actually, that has given me an idea to try something in uh, one of the games I'm going to be playing in the future. I'm going to see if I can convince my DM to give me a bonus to, for my character being absolutely filthy. Oh my goodness, that filthy Frankie. Uh, this is the skill section right here. This whole page is nothing but skills. It's your basic calculations for your skill ranks, class bonuses, ability mod, ratio bonus, flat bo feet bonuses, item bonuses, miscellaneous bonuses, armor penalty, the total bar right here, and any conditional modifiers that would be tied into your uh, skills. <clears throat> you got some these blank boxes right here that's for writing in say like this is craft craft you got two crafts you got two performances you got two professions personally they could have actually fit a few uh, added an extra one in for each one of those and might have future proofed this a little bit because some people are gonna like really get crazy and see if they can get three or four different crafts skills trust me I would do that uh, this is your feet box right here you can write down the name of your feet the description of your feet and the source in which you got your feet from what book you have a traits section down here in languages oddly enough you only have three languages in uh, three lines for your languages however you probably could just write them out in the same line Hard to imagine anyone with only three languages. This is your spells section, and this is your spell book slash spells known page over here. There's a level bar, 
spell name, school, save DC, SR, question mark, range, duration, and description box. And over here is the calculations for your how many spell slots do you have and classes. You got two boxes for one class, a second class, and totaling all your uh, spell levels. And you know, this is your prepared spell section right here, and this is your spell like abilities box right here. Yet again, you could probably easily add an extra page for the spell book section. And, uh, oh yeah, there's also a meta magic box right here. This is your equipment section. This basically just points out where all the equipment slots in on your character. Weapons, armor shields, potions, scrolls, wands, other items. This is your general gear box. This is your encumbrance calculation box down here. <coughs> this is how much money you have. Other valuables. On to the next page. You can have your companion section. So if you have like a familiar or a friend that follows you along that cleans your boots or a wolf that is your buddy or your idol on. You can use this page right here as well as this page right here. You got your background section here. This is all about your appearance, your family relationship, personality, and so forth. Your character history. Your home hideout base. By the way, there's this right here. This grid paper section. This is far too small. This needs to be three times bigger. Seriously. Character sketch. So if you're good at art, you can draw your character right there. This is your adventuring log. This is where you write down your advancements, achievements, and adventure record of what your character has achieved, such and so forth. <coughs> this might be used, might not be used by various people. And on this back side here, there's a continuation of skill checks from earlier on. Oh, yeah, I've already covered the skill check section, didn't I? Yeah, I already covered that. But anyways, there's this sheet, this section right here that's the skill checks. And I've already talked about that. So, this is actually quite nice to have. Uh, my only problem is that uh, every time you want to make a character, you're either erasing a ton of stuff, or, or, <clears throat> you're buying tons of these. I do say this would be nice if they sold these in a packet of 50. If Paizo brought this character, these character folios back for people. <coughs> and sold them in a pack of 25, 10, 25, 50, 100. That would be awesome. That way if you have a bunch of characters you want to make you know, far into the future. You can always buy a large packet of them and boom you're good. Uh, other than that it's neat. I really do like the layout in this. It's a lot better than uh, the Starfinder one. <coughs> Starfinder is, uh, it gets into that weird area because you have so much extra stuff tossed on top. A lot of gear uh, is included into that. And uh, it was clearly something new for uh, Paizo to get into was science fiction or science fantasy. So, and there you go on that. I have a video on the Starfinder character, a player character folio. Uh, this one is actually, I feel this is probably like a 3.75 star to 4 star rating right here. I do like these. The only thing that bothers me about this is that you end up using it and then uh, you either have to erase a ton of stuff or buy a new one. And that's basically $10 or more each time you want to make a new character. But of course, if you truly wanted to, you could take this and put it on a scanner and scan out each one of these panels. And then you just have, you scan out the panel and you scan out each one of these sheets and then you staple them together into a booklet. 
or have them in a loose leaf uh, folder and that would work out too so you could just buy one and then just use a scanner to scan duplicates out of it and use own copy and only use the pages you use so these are pretty cool I like this idea uh, but however in the modern day and age with the uh, new computer technology and uh, phones and tablets being ubiquitous uh, something like this in a tablet in a app form is amazing uh, path builder is a good option as well as way uh, wayfinders uh, guide as if you're just gonna go with uh, a uh, browser based one so yeah so there you go. That is the Pathfinder role playing game first edition player character folio from Paizo Publishing. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and consider subscribing. Thank you very much.